The Elgin Middlesex Chiefs found themselves in familiar playoff territory in the Alliance Hockey League semifinals, hunting down a spot not just in the championship, but a berth in the OHL Cup, a showdown between the top minor midget teams in Ontario and the U.S. First, though, the Chiefs had to get past the Kitchener Junior Rangers, a task that didn't come without some hiccups. With 6'3 inch forward Lawson Kraus suspended for the first two games of the series, the Chiefs were dealt another blow when forward Travis Konechny had to sit out half of game two when he lost an edge on his skate, leaving the captain to watch from the sidelines as his teammates held the Rangers at bay before rallying to a 6-2 win. Yeah, I lost, uh, lost an edge at the start of the game and I missed, uh, missed about half the game and luckily I got back and uh, got into it right away with a power play, which is nice. So, uh, But it was rough, but we, we worked through it. Game three, however, was a different story. With the return of Kraus, the Chiefs sprinted to an early lead and never looked back. Oh, it was awesome. He had a great game back, popping a couple in. That was good. I like to see that. And uh, I was happy for him because I, I really don't think that uh, the penalty should have been that much. But uh, it was good to have him back. He played well. The Chiefs will play either Waterloo or Huron Perth in the Alliance Finals. That leaves just the OHL Cup after that before the team, made up of players eligible for April's OHL draft, splits up for good. Uh, like I've been here before, but uh, this year is obviously the biggest year, and it's great to be going to the finals with these guys. I've been growing up with these guys, and uh, it's going to be tough to watch them go at the end of the year because we're all going to split up, but it'll be nice to hopefully uh, pull out the Lions championship with the rest of these guys and finish out the year. For the London Free Press, I'm Patrick Maloney.